Joining me now, former NYPD Commissioner Bernard Kara. Commissioner, always great to talk to you. Thank you, you sir. You have such a wealth of experience, so let's begin, really, the main focal point. Uh, there were warning signs. Could this have been prevented? Personally, I think it should have. It could have. Um, you know, the uh, Nicholas uh, Cruz sent a comment to a YouTuber back in September or October of last year. He wanted to be a professional a school shooter. Right. Um, that uh, the recipient of that comment contacted the FBI in right. Mississippi. They responded immediately, uh, interviewed him, and then there was some sort of breakdown, investigative breakdown, where it was never followed up on. Uh, I heard the FBI say today that they they couldn't uh, figure out who the sender of that message was. Um, the only way they couldn't find out is because they didn't look. Right. That's the bottom line. Um, they could have subpoenaed Google. Right. They could have got the IP address. It would have led them to wherever he was, check with the school, look at his Facebook. They would have had him back in September or October. I mean, honestly, you can get this done in a couple of hours by phone. I mean, that is probable cause. He's essentially saying, I'm going to be a murderer, a school shooter. So you contact a judge. You can do it by phone these days. A warrant is issued. You serve it on the social media uh, operator. And they have to turn over an IP address. It, I mean, it can be done like that. You know what, uh, uh, Greg? This is this is basic, basic police work. Remember back in the 70s, we had Berkowitz, the son of Sam Killer? Right. They caught him on a parking summons. Right. On a parking summons on his car, on a street in the area where the last victim was. This stuff was standing out in broad daylight, and nobody looked at it. Unlike many school shootings, Cruz did not turn a gun on himself. Um, so, and he's already apparently confessed that he is the shooter. So I suppose something can be learned about his motives? Um, learned about his motives, uh, his thoughts, uh, you know, maybe we can use that in some way in the future. But I think most importantly, um, we can use it as a training tool. Right. A training tool for other schools in the future. Um, DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, has a complete brochure for schools to look at on how they plan, prepare, focus, mock drills, tabletop exercises, all this stuff that they could be doing and should be doing, right. living in a post-9-11 world. Um, but still, a lot of schools don't do it. Um, they won't do it. An argument can be made that schools need to train teachers and other personnel with firearms uh, allow them to have firearms. I'm not saying carry a weapon on your, your hip or your shoulder, but have it within easy access um, to protect students and teachers and personnel. What do you make of that? You know what? I agree. But in the day and age in which we live in political <laughs> correctness, right. I know children that have gone and were going on school trips whose fathers were cops and not allowed to go on the bus with them because they were armed. Um, that's bizarre. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Um, and it's dangerous, um, you know, uh, to have that mentality. So, uh, you know, I think it'll be a long day before we have teachers armed or having access to weapons. Do we also need to change the mental health standards for gaining access to a gun so that it's not just being adjudicated by a court as being mentally ill, which is next to impossible? You know what, Greg? Common sense right. gun laws. Right. Com and that's, that's common sense. Somebody has a mental Ill illness problem, then they get flagged and they can't get a, a, you know, access to a weapon, right. purchase, possess, carry. It shouldn't happen until they're cleared. Um, in this case, if that was the case, this guy had a background investigation sure. done. They should have known about the mental illness, um, but they didn't. Bernard Carrick, uh, former NYPD commissioner. Always great to see you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, sir.